Hatfield. Pacers are in behind the gate. Gate swings down the shoot, and here they come. Up and pacing fast out of the gate. It's sealed and delivered. Going right to the front. Hard escape on the outside. Inside, dragging again. Down the back side of the quarter. Browning Blue Jab gets away. Fourth, racing fifth. Fifth for life. Sixth on the outside, that's Art Dialing. Racing seven, day in a life. Racing eight, crawfish, tread in a field. Memphis Flash, opening quarter in 26 and two. On down the back side of the three eights mark. Up on the outside, that's Art Escape and Mike shots drifting to the front. Sealed and delivered, racing second. Yeah, to the turn, racing up on the outside, sealed and delivered, and Tony Morgan, right back out on the outside, with the cover, dragging again, on the outside, Browning Blue Jeff, racing fourth, fit for life fifth, look at the half, 53, 26 and three, second quarter, around the turn, Art Escape, the leader, a sealed and delivered on the outside, and here comes Browning Blue Jeff, Three wide, inside dragon again, four, fit for life, comes to the outside, fifth, three quarters, one, twenty-one and two, twenty-eight and two, third quarter, coming to the wire, Art Escape, Browning Blue Chip on the outside, dragon again, coming to the wire, Art Escape, Browning Blue Chip on the outside, dragon again, Art Escape, Browning Blue Chip on the outside, coming to the wire, it's Art Escape and Browning Blue Chip. Too close to call. A photo all the way. 149, three fifths. An incredible race in the three year old Colt Pace Breeders Crown event. And very tight at the finish. Roger Houston called it Art Escape in front with a mile in 149 and three, just four fifths of a second off the fastest Breeders' Crown mile of all time set by Jenna's Beach Boy. Let's take another look at that very exciting and tight finish. Gary, this is an epic duel down the stretch between two top Colts and two great drivers. Bob McIntosh said this uh, Art Escape is a lot like his sire, Art's place, and he showed that tonight. This year, he thinks he's somebody. He's gained a lot of weight, and he's turned into a real man. Tonight, I think he's a divisional champion. Well, trainer Bob McIntosh raced both parents, won both Breeders' Crowns at fours with Art's Place and Delinquent Account. Art Escape would become McIntosh's first repeat crown winner. A photo for win. We're taking a look at Art Escape right now for driver Mike Lachance, looking to pick up his 17th Breeders' Crown victory. Okay, Art Escape, the winner, Browning Blue Chip was second, and Dragon again was third. Now we'll take over one, two, Art Darling, my pick, well, fourth, not too bad. Once again, Day in a Life, Meadowlands Pace winner. Again, owned by Brittany Farms and Brian Monison, trained by Bob McIntosh, and Mike Lachance was aboard, who right now is standing by with our Ken Hornick. Well, Mike, uh, great job. You earned your money there. You uh, had to keep this horse live all the way around this big racetrack. Well, I don't know if I've done a great job, but the horse race great because he had every chance in the world to get beat. And uh, But he never stopped digging in at the end there. He even uh, impressed me. He even surprised me because I didn't know that he could uh, stand that kind of...